All right, guys, I want to take a quick moment here to give a big shout out and a big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. For those of you who don't know, Skillshare is an online learning platform which has thousands of classes covering entrepreneurship, productivity, web design, film and video, and much more. It's also extremely affordable at less than $10 per month with an annual membership. So I just finished watching Thomas Frank's Productivity for Creatives build a system that brings out your best. Now this really helped me to build the systems within my mind and the real world to help produce my creative work more effectively. So since Skillshare is sponsoring this video, they are offering the first 1,000 people who use the link in the description a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership, which means you get unlimited access to every single class on Skillshare. So right now you could check out Thomas Frank's Productivity for Creatives by using the link in the description. I'd also like to say thank you again, Skillshare, for sponsoring today's video. Again, all the information is in the link below this video. Make sure to check it out and to check out Skillshare. All right, guys, so the plan now for the remainder of the day is to try to bring up the inside temperature of the tent as hot as we can get it. So I figure we're aiming for about 50 degrees Celsius or about 120 degrees Fahrenheit. And the reason for that is to thaw the ground out all around the tent here. So if you guys notice in that opening scene, we had quite a bit of snow this year. We were up, these are uh, five foot walls here and uh, the snow was quite high this year. And every year that we take the tent down, we'll always have a lot of ice that runs along the base of the tent here. And that's just pretty much from the heat radiating out to the snow and it melts at the lowest point. You guys see there's probably at least, I would say two and a half inches worth of ice here. And all of our tent stakes are underneath this ice and this runs right along the bottom of the tent. So a part of the idea of clearing this snow out is to be able to try to get as much heat as we can in this tent and to thaw out as much of this ice as we can. Plus this time of the year now, it's getting dark quite late into the year, sorry, into the evening. Uh, we're into the 1st of April now and the sun isn't going down until about 9.30 or 10 at night. So we have a lot of heat from that sun uh, from east to west here. And that's also gonna help with thawing out all of this little bits of ice and, and uh, all of the ice that's surrounding the tent here. Come around the other side. You guys can see same thing along the base of the tent over here. Lots of ice. Now we want to be super careful when we do this. We don't want to damage the tent. You guys can see here from a previous year, um, I was using the shovel and I was trying to break the ice on the lower part of the tent here and I clipped the corner of the tent and put a pretty good tear in it. And uh, Vivian spent a few hours repairing that. So we don't want to make that same mistake again. But yeah, other than that, it's an absolute beautiful day here today. Uh, temperatures are up to about negative three degrees Celsius or about uh, 25 degrees Fahrenheit. So it won't be long before everything is melting here. We give it about another week or two and we will have this camp completely taken down and done for uh, this season. So give you guys a little look around camp here. We cleared up all of the wood that we had in the front of the tent. We still have a big pile of green wood that's underneath this snow pile here. And I'll come back um, maybe in May when all of this snow is melted and move this wood over here with the rest of the wood that we have and let this season uh, so we can use it for next, uh, next winter camp season. So we have one full sled load of gear, which we'll be taking back today. We won't be doing any more overnights here. So the mattress will be coming back, the sleeping bag, all of our cooking gear. And uh, yeah, just just looking forward to shutting the winter camp down for this season. We have a bunch of plans that will be um, revealed here shortly. I'm really hoping you guys are going to enjoy the next phase of this channel during the summer. And other than that, yeah, just gonna sit back, relax, bring up the temperature of the tent. And I guess we're gonna have to hang outside. It's gonna be too hot to be in this <laughs> yeah, tent. <laughs> I'm sweating here now as it is. So yeah, just a quick little look around camp on the inside. Everything is basically packed up and ready to go. The furniture that we keep for every year are these two tables. We keep our uh, wooden bed frame. We stack everything. We stack the bed frame, 
put everything underneath the frame. We, we wrap it over with a tarp to keep it protected. One little task I have to do before we do shut the camp down is uh, put some wood stain on this wood horse that we made this year. And I need to wait for the temperature, I think, to get up to above plus five in order for that stain to seat properly. So, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for today. Like I say, get sit back, relax, enjoy the rest of the evening. And I just noticed we forgot the yellow extension cord over here. We're going to have to get that before we leave. <laughs> okay. Just noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, um, again, thanks for dropping back, uh, checking out the video. Make sure you do click that like button. Make sure you do click subscribe, select all to receive future video notifications. If you're not following us on Facebook, check us out there at Up North of 60. If you're not following me on Instagram, check me out there at Dave's True Life. And other than that, you guys stay safe. Happy Easter, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.